Welcome back guys to another PvP build for the higher chapter. I'm on my stamina warden this time with a classic 2H sword and board setup. On the front bar a craftable strong set called Stoons. It gives two times weapon damage and penetration and when you deal damage to an enemy who is off balanced, which is easy to get with dizzy swing is spammable, you get over 5k physical and spell penetration for 10 seconds. Pretty nice set to be honest. Backbar e Sense Thief, a powerful backbar set. Dealing damage with light or heavy attack draws e Sense from the enemy that puts near them for 5 seconds. So the enemy will drop a green pool or blob which heals you, restores stamina and decrease your damage done by 10% for 10 seconds and it has basically no cooldown. Combined with the mythic item Malakat, best in slot for every stamina warden PvP build. On the wardens we don't have any crit or crit damage benefits so perfectly made for Malakat. As monster set Magma Incarnate, what else with minor courage and minor resolve? One of the strongest, if not the strongest, PvP monster set. As filler, still one trainee for max HP. I'm on five heavy pieces, two medium armor pieces, five impen, one sturdy. And one well fitted, still full prismatic glyphs, 4 extra HP and max magica, full infuse on the jewelry with 2 weapon damage glyphs and 1 twice at regen glyph. It helps with the magica sustain on Stamden. We have a ton of magica abilities. Front by a sharpened maul, or alternative, a infused maul with the oblivion damage glyph, works fine too especially against tanky targets for more single target pressure and back bar sorted board, powered and sturdy. With the escapist poisons, still in my opinion the best poisons out there. Skills, front bar executioner, still I want to edge execute. Then sub training assault, you can also use the other morph, the fissure, the magical one for minor and major breach, but then you have to put uh, more effort on your jewelry glyphs with Magica region or even the Atomondos. A spammable still dizzy swing, we especially need it with stones to set the enemy off balance. Then Bird of Prey for Mage Expedition, Minor Berserk and extra 2% damage thanks to the passive Advanced Species just slotted 2% extra flat damage. Forward Momentum as Snare Removable. You can also go with Rally if you want. And Dawnbreaker of Smiting, our offensive ultimate. Back bar, still a big fan of Shimmering Shield. It's one of, if not the best, defensive skill. I'm not sure why a lot of Wardens out there are not even using this skill. It gives major heroism and it absorbs three projectiles. All those snipers, gankers. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Use it, guys. If you prefer more penetration, you can de-slot it, of course, for more single target pressure. Then go with Purse Armor for one on ones, for example, or just for more damage. But I personally prefer Shimmering Shield, especially for Open Feed 1 VX. Bull Edge for Sustain and the Major Brutality buff. And on top, the Free Purge. Resolving Vigor is here. Ice Fortress, Resistance Buff and Minor Protection. Living Trellis, still better than Arctic Blast, especially with this build. We only have around 30k HP. Let me check. I need buff food, of course. Zack. 32k HP. It's not even close to 40k. I would say at 40k HP you can deslot Living Trellis for Arctic Blast. Then Arctic Blast should be probably better, but under or below 40k HP, Living Treaders definitely better. Defensive Ultimate, Spell Wall, or in small scale, even Permafrost for major protection. Race, still not, for extra resistance, max stamina, ulti region, 
and max health. In my opinion, the best race alternative you could go with Imperial for cost reduction, but I'm still a big fan of especially the resistance bonus of the Nord. Mundus, the Serpent, for extra sustain, Artium Takeover both as buff food, 30 points in health and 34 points in stamina. Potions, I use two different potions, sometimes the tricep potions, for one react situations, mainly the resistance potions, over 5k resistance, pretty powerful potion. CPs, nothing special, biting our master arms, dual sweep of ironclad, sustained by suffering, pain refuge, celebrity and slippery. For a more aggressive playstyle, put out dual three buff for deadly aim. Quick talk about the burst combination on the stamina wall, and it's not a secret anymore to be honest, everyone should know it, but I will show you again. Pre buff yourself, like always, with Bone Edge or for momentum for the major brutality buff. Before you start, don't forget to pick up the Ascent Thief pool, the green blob, so light or heavy track before you start, like this. Pick it up, then start with Subtrain into DZ into DB, into Executioner. Don't forget to light attack in between and in the end you can even bash cancel like this with Executioner. You can also heavy attack before you use Stormbreaker to empower it with the 2H passive. Follow up which increases your DB initial hit for 10% then. Pretty nice. So like this with the heavy attack. Voila. That's it with another PvP build. Enjoy the gameplay footage. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video guys. Peace. I got a bottle of Patron and some light sauce. Two red devil looking eyeballs. And I finna turn up when the night falls. If you hear a siren, then it's my fault. Jump in my whip, baby, let's ride. We ain't gonna stop at a red light. And I'ma take shots like a tech nine. <laughs> it's gonna get live. Here we go, it's about to go down. Let me know, I'ma buy another round. Get low, drop it down to the ground. Oh yeah, wow, shorty making pounds. Mama see the quick cuffs on my cardiac. Took my breath away like a heart attack. And I'ma spend every time in my money back. Everybody wanna know.
Something stupid. Swipe right now, I'm watching what you did. I went down now, I'm at a disadvantage. But I think that it's worth it. I put my headphones on, I play my favorite song. I go to sleep and try again. Again, again. Mama used to try and tell me no. 